Hello artists! This week we are making art out of recycled things. I'm asking for you to find things around your house that you could repurpose. Maybe there's items that maybe went into the trash can or should have gone into the trash can that you could use to make a sculpture. Things like toilet paper tubes, popsicle sticks, toothpicks, pieces of fabric, boxes from cereal or Kleenexes, plastic things. I don't know, whatever you have left over. Coffee lids, packing peanuts, what about coffee filters or even cups? I bet you have something else around your house that you could use to make junk art. Now today, when we're making junk art, we're going to use our creative thinking and we need to be problem solvers because to make a sculpture out of this stuff, we're not gonna use tape or glue. But instead, you can put things together with string or wire, or maybe they just go inside of each other and that's how you make your sculpture. Now, when you're thinking about making your sculpture with your recycled material things, you might wanna think, what could this be? Hmm, I, I could repurpose this into a vase of flowers. That's a fun idea and I could make flowers out of, I don't know, these things look like the middles of flowers. That would be cool. Or what if you had one of these laying around? What could it be turned into? Oh, the lid, the lid, the lid could be used for something. I could glue it onto here, oh, but we're not using glue. So how can I make things stay together when I'm not using glue? Okay, so let's talk about some ways you can make your sculpture stay together without glue or tape. If you're using a bunch of cardboard, one way to do that is to cut notches into the cardboard. A notch is just a line that makes it so that the cardboard is able to go in half. It's good to put two notches together. So I've got a notch right here and a notch right here. When I put them together like an X and I cross them, I could slide it together and now I've got part of a sculpture. I can do that with lots of other cardboard things as well. Hmm. Maybe I want these to attach here. So I'm gonna make little notches so that they can slide into the circle. That's cool. Hmm. Or another way to combine things is to poke a hole in it. You could cut out a hole fold it in half and cut out a little space so that there's a hole. Then you can stick things through the holes. Hmm. You can use wire to wrap things together. Maybe I want this to stick on the outside of my cup. So I'm just going to wrap it around and tie, twist, twist, twist the wire together. Oh, I could poke things through. Oh, that looks like an arm or something. I can even use string to put things together. Taking some string so that I can tie parts together. Not that, I don't wanna tie that together. <gasps> what if I wanted to tie this to the bottom? I'm gonna poke a hole into my cup. Poke a hole into my tube. And I can put the string through it.